after winning uh, the Grammys, because, you know, sometimes people will act like, oh, Grammys and accolades and things like that don't matter. But I think it does, mm-hmm. right? So what difference have you seen just in your path since then? Because it hasn't been that long ago, but it's been like, yeah, phew, I off. think I mean, I think sitting here with you is definitely <laughs> it's a pretty major step. You know, like, I don't I just, you know, I listen to you all the time. Oh, on the, on the radio. Yeah. Wow. We're back with Radio Royalty award-winning host and media personality, Angela Yee. That was a clip from her new show, Way Up with Angela Yee. Last week, she sat down with jazz sensation Samara Joy, who just won a Grammy for Best New Artist. Um, I was curious, did you take a break? I I saw that you celebrated your birthday um, in the end of January. You were at the Mardi Gras. (laughs) Partying, and then I saw you in St. Martin. Uh, look at you, and then you were at the White House. Um, when when I when I left NBC, that's a beautiful birthday party. Uh, when I left NBC, it was the first time I'd been unemployed in my life since I was 14. Wow. Um, and it was not easy. Uh, <laughs> you you took your break. Did you take any break from work? I did. I had a little bit of time off. It was. Yeah, it was longer than I thought because the show kept getting pushed back. That was the other thing. People are like, when is it starting? And so I did have a little break, but I also didn't know when I was coming back. And then I also have businesses. And so a break from my nine to five means go ahead and work on these other businesses that you have. Would you lead me to my next question? The businesses. (laughs) Juice bar. Mm -hmm. Uh, No, that's just getting started. It's it's a juice bar, uh, real estate. Mm-hmm. What else? A coffee shop. Coffee shop. A hair store. Hair in store. <laughs> and wh- so you talk a lot about being business secure. You just bought your first multi-unit building in Detroit. Wow. <laughs> uh, I mean. I was impressed when I read an article that you bought a townhouse in Brooklyn. You bought a yeah, whole multi- like- <laughs> <laughs> you bought a whole multi-unit building. Yeah, that was um, you know one of the biggest purchases I've done. And I have an Airbnb property. That's my first time doing that. And so my rule is every year I try to invest yeah. in something different. You try every year you try to invest in something. And this all started when you said you one day realized you were thirty thousand dollars in credit card debt. Yes. <laughs> when was that? Um, That was a lot earlier on. This is when I was doing management. I was managing Jay Electronica at the time. The the artist, the brilliant artist. Yes, the artist. And when you manage an artist, that takes a lot of money. You know, we're booking hotel rooms, we're doing different things, moving around. Amex sent me a note like, it's over for you. (laughs) (laughs) Amex said, X us off the list. (laughs) So you had $30,000 in credit card debt, and so that (laughs) helped you realign how you see money. And I know that on your show on Wednesdays, You talk about financial literacy. I think we have a clip. Wealth Wednesdays. Let's take a look. And then knowing when it's time to leave your nine to five and actually jump out there. So what advice do you give? Because I get that question all the time. Like jump out there. My advice for people is to set a quit number, meaning you have a goal. And if you reach that goal, you quit at that moment. (laughs) Ooh, that's some (laughs) tough advice. Yeah, you know, because people will stall and make excuses. And so I do, I believe in that advice. Did you take that advice when you left the breakfast club? Did you look at your bank account and say, I've got the quit money to go? I was fortunate enough that at that point, I had different properties, I have income coming in from that, and I have my businesses. So the answer is yes. You yeah, had quit I also money. knew if I wasn't going to do this new show when I was leaving, if I decided to leave the breakfast club at any point, I make enough money outside of there that I could be okay. How did you start with the real estate? I mean, because I think a lot of people see that And as I said, I keep talking about Women's History Month. Women's history is is human history um, because there would be none of us without a woman. Absolutely. So that's point blank. Um, And so when you you bought your first property or when you started to educate yourself about real estate, how did you go about it? Because it wasn't your full-time job. You know, I did... My first property was a two-family house in Brooklyn. It was something that I knew I could afford and I would also get income coming in to help pay the mortgage. And what helped me decide to do that, my best friend, we were roommates, and she bought a house. So during that process, I was with her, we were looking at houses, and it inspired me to say, one day I'm gonna buy a house too. And so I just started looking, I started preparing myself. I met a great real estate broker who I really liked. I went through a lot. And I will say this, if you're looking to buy a house, don't go with a real estate broker who doesn't make you feel comfortable, Mm -hmm. who tries to pressure you to make a purchase because they're trying to make their money. She told me, her name was Sarah, she said, Angela, 
I don't care if it takes years, we're gonna get you the right house. Oh. And I don't want you to just buy anything. Yeah. There were houses I liked, and she told me why it wasn't a good idea to so buy it. So you started out with that house, mm -hmm. and now, as George and Wheezy, you moved on up. <laughs> <laughs> To a multiplex building in Detroit. Yeah, that's an investment, and that's gonna be a, um, we'll see how that goes. But I feel like that's my first one of those. Yeah. And so I looked at that as I'm doing this, I'm jumping into the game, and then this is just, you know, just the beginning. And I did it with two other black women. Yeah. And so we came together to do that. And Congratulations. When it comes to business, I will say who you surround yourself with is really important. And the conversations I have with my friends now is about that. Like, what are we doing to invest? What are we doing to secure, secure our finances for the future? And we talk about that all the time. It's beautiful. Well, congratulations <laughs> on everything. Thank you. And, and you, still, you still owe me swimming lessons. I, I know. I told Angela <laughs> I would give her swimming lessons once I can properly swim because she can't swim. Yeah. I think my son Moses will be teaching both of okay, us. He's great. Three and he does it. better. And you still go by the Breakfast Club and hang out with. Yeah, the we're guys. still in the same building, still right same, down the hall. I come same. on right after them. And it's still family. All right. Well, I love you. Congratulations, Thank you. everything. <laughs> and you can listen to Way Up with Angela Yee weekday.